All right, and let's get our final layers in for the crowd. Let's make them asparagus colored. Why not? All right, now I'm going to go to where it says Warfare, Battlefield. We don't want modern or sci-fi. World War II, no. Let's look at crowds. Nope. Let's try searching shouting or army. No. Let's just try angry crowd. That might be useful. For the purposes of this video, I think that'll work fine. Let's see if we can get some swords clanging. Let's do a folder for weapons. We want a whole bunch of these happening. These will be useful. Let's put this one in so that we can maybe have some sound of it hitting the dragon. Pull the volume down on that. And let's hear what we've got so far for our crowd. Okay, that one will be useful. We want a whole bunch of these sword sounds. Okay, I think we can use these. We want a feeling of chaos. So I'm going to be going over the top with the layers that I'm putting in here. Because they're fighting a dragon, we want it to be chaotic. Okay, we can use some of these. All right, let's hear what we've got for our crowd now. It's all happening too early. Hear how that's still not enough? Looks like we're going to need some more in the tail end right here. And you can see I'm not really worrying about putting them all on separate tracks. I'm not really going to be processing these separately. I want them to be processed as a whole so they all blend in together. Some of these sounds don't sound like too much on their own, but remember they're going to be mixed in with a whole bunch of other things to create that sense of chaos that we're looking for. Those sound nice. Alright, let's listen to our crowd now. All right, so that's sounding better, a little more chaotic. I'm not going to worry too much about these peaks here, but I am going to take all of these and pull them down a little bit. And what I'm going to do to help them to sound like they belong together is on the weapons bus here, I'm going to add an equalizer and I'm going to filter out a lot of the top end so that it sounds like it's further away. 
we want to match kind of the feeling that the camera angle is giving us. And when sounds are further away, we hear less of the high end and a bit less of the low end as well. Although the really low end does travel. Let's put a little bit of that back in. And I think that'll do. Let's take this off of solo, turn down our weapons a little more. And now let's listen to everything all together. I think we can turn up the weapons a little bit more. Now I'm wanting the dragon to sound louder and more aggressive here when it roars. So I'm going to go back to our processing here, add a little more makeup gain, and let's listen to it now. Now I've added that makeup gain that'll add a little bit of some of the analog distortion. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a limiter, and in this case I'm going to put Waves L1. Because I don't need it to be this super modern transparent limiting, I want it to be aggressive. So I'm going to pull these down, let's try minus seven, put the output ceiling at minus one, and now let's hear how loud it gets. bit more dry on the reverb, a little bit more toward the early reflections as well. Now let's hear it. I think we can turn our weapons up a little more. And there we have it. We have using only sounds from the Soundly Pro libraries, made an entire scene of a dragon roaring, breathing fire, the fire burning, and a crowd of angry people attacking the dragon. So I hope that shows you how easy it is to find useful sounds in Soundly, and how even though yes, they are library sounds, and yes, other people have access to them, as you layer them together and process them, you can really make these sounds your own and create something that is a unique experience for your audience, whether you're doing it for film or games or whatever else you're doing sound design for. Let's watch it one more time just because seeing people get set on fire never gets old. All right. I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials. I've had a lot of fun making them. Go ahead now while the promotion is still running, grab your 14 day trial of Soundly Pro, see how it works in your workflow. And if it improves it, go ahead and subscribe with them. They're not too expensive and you can stop whenever you want. So if you don't have work one month, you can just stop your subscription and then put it back on again when you've got work again, if you're a freelancer. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all next time.